Hello, my name is Andrea Mazzariello, and I wrote the piece Oven Between for the wonderful Rochester, New York-based chamber ensemble 5x5. Five five. I wanted to say just a few words about the piece um, in the hopes that it would enhance your listening or in the hopes that you might be curious about some of the backstory of the piece, some context, um, some background on me and how I work, and the relationship between this piece and Judith Schechter's The Battle of Carnival and Lent. So when I found out about this commission, um, I actually flew out to Rochester to meet the group. I like to work closely with ensembles with which I'm collaborating. It's not always possible, but to the extent that it would be, I thought it would be great to meet everyone and um, hear how they play. And also, very importantly, see the actual visual art on which this piece is based. It was a wonderful visit full of new friendships taking root. And I also got to spend a lot of time in front of the Battle of Carnival and Lent at the Memorial Art Gallery in Rochester. Um, I sat and took notes and watched the piece. And then I went back to the room where I was staying and watched lots of Judith Schechter videos where she talked about her process and reflected on it and gave us kind of an inside look in her studio. That all really informed the way that I approached the piece. I think this idea of budding friendship and the idea of honoring this piece of visual art and also the idea of process and how important process is to Judith's work. I originally thought I would do something that kind of paralleled the richness of each individual moment in the tableau. So you can get into a spot and really look at all these different colors and shapes, the intricacy of it. And I thought my music could do that. I thought I would set up a big frame and then inside the frame, these sort of pillars of harmonies and slow melodic motion, I would make little intricate, you know, bobbles or actions or gestures. And what wound up happening, though, is that I wrote the frame and then became a bit enamored of it. And so the piece that you'll hear is absolutely not part of the plan. What you'll hear is the kind of framing work I did that I intended to later go in and flesh out just sort of sitting on its own. I think it creates a contemplative space in which we can consider the piece a visual art and also the piece of music itself. I think there are lots of things to find, but you don't look in a way that is um, sort of forcefully invited or articulated. You're sort of drawn in in a more, I hope, generous, mindful, meditative way. And that can both enhance our experience of the visual art and also allow us to discover things about the music that we wouldn't if it were saying, look at me and look at this and look at that. Um, so I hope this is helpful as you um, listen to the piece and especially as you look at Judith's um, wonderful work. Thank you so much. I appreciate um, the opportunity to get to speak with you.